21 years old, the age of adulthood. 21 years in which the British charity Tibet Foundation has been working to help Tibetan people in Tibet and in exile. On the 2nd of December 2006, the charity held Tibet Foundation Day at Soas University in London. Tibetans and Tibet Foundation's friends gathered in the afternoon to hear about the work and achievements of the charity during the past year. The event was introduced by the Master of Ceremonies, Professor Tadio Skorowski, from the Center of Buddhist Studies of SOAS. Punsol Gwangyal, founding trustee of the Foundation, then presented two films about Tibet Foundation projects, the Tibetan Peace Garden in London and the Aid to Tibet programs in Tibet. Following the screening, Susan Burroughs, trustee of the Foundation, delivered the trustee's report for the last year, outlining the work that the Foundation has achieved in India, Nepal, Tibet inside China and Mongolia. Susan Burroughs also paid tribute to Sarah Ngombo, dear friend and colleague of Tibet Foundation, who passed away this summer. Then was the time for Kassar, Mrs. Rinchen Kandro Chogyal, former minister of the Tibetan government in exile, to conduct a special talk about education and health care of the Tibetan refugee communities in India and Nepal. She talked of her personal view about the situation. What is important is we Tibetans must not forget our duties towards our people inside Tibet. As is only said, the Tavala Mamlika may go, but the Tibet as a nation has to live forever. I think that's very, very important. That's very, very important. Thank you very much. The Tibet Foundation Day concluded with cultural performances by Tibetan, Chinese and Indian artists. They were a lively symbol of the forces that have played an important role in the Tibetan situation. Working together in harmony, these forces could make a difference for the future of Tibet and Tibetans.